I ain't going to pretend to be the be all and end all when it comes to destiny and its roles that certain weapons actually come with. I ain't one to calculate the damage of a headshot at a 45 degree angle while bent over collecting a plantain material. I also ain't one to care about such things either. What I know is and what I care about is if a weapon hits hard, feels good to use, destroys what it hits, it's a winner for me. In this video we check out this insane sidearm with this insane role of barely seeing anyone even mention, never mind talk about. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So this weapon is called the Call which you probably already know about, I made a video on it a few days back talking about uh, the weapon but a completely different role on it. The role back then I did say to you guys to try it out was beacon rounds and hatchling which is a great way of going about things but I feel this one I'm using right here just seems to work way more consistently and hits harder. So I got this weapon with this roll dropped randomly and I thought well that seems pretty interesting so I tried it out and noticed that the damage this thing did was utterly unreal and you're seeing this on screen now. So I decided to farm the red borders of this weapon to craft my own version of it using the advanced versions of the beacon rounds and Vorpal weapon and the outcome is just nasty. So Beacon Rounds tracks after you get a kill with it and Vorpal does more damage where needed. Combined you have yourself the ultimate sidearm which goes toe in toe with many setups I can see people wanting. Now I have tried a few weapons from the final shape if not all of them outside of the raid. Many are great but I feel the cool might be the best you can get or at least the best you can get which is easy to get. Again, this comes from payroll engrams activity where dealers choice weapons drop but for me the easiest is collecting payroll engrams and using ghost within the lost city to focus this weapon, uh, try and get this roll or red borders to craft your very own as it is 100% worth it, trust me people. Now the roll I crafted has volatile launch, high explosive ordnance, enhanced beacon rounds and enhanced vorpal weapon. That's a weapon guys, that's all you need. Using Prismatic with all the other buffs you can stack on top of this thing making an absolute beast of a weapon, trust me. Basically feels like a heavy weapon using special ammo in that primary slot. Now in your artifact 2, I'd use the mod of overcharged armory alongside this weapon because it just adds to the weapon and everything it does. So it's pretty cool. But other than that guys, there's not much else to express. I just really recommend you trying this weapon and this roll out. Uh, it's by far the best new one I've used and seen in PvE within the Lightfall DLC. It requires barely anything, it feels as powerful as anything I have seen and never really lets you down when it comes to that damage output. Like I said, it does feel like a heavy weapon a lot of the time. Uh, on screen now you'll see me use this against various different bosses, various different enemies on the Pathfinder planet and other spots. It just hits like an absolute truck, so definitely get this weapon guys, try out this roll, you will not be disappointed. Simple as that. Chop but sweet one today guys, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.